Hi everyone, welcome to European Education. This is Chandrasekhar, faculty at European Education. So in this video, we are going to see how to fill very clearly the application form of uh, IIT Madras MS or MTech Research Program. What are all the requirements, who is eligible for which branch and all these things we will be looking into it very clearly. So complete application form filling we will see. See this is the website here you will get like this. First of all if you are a new user for the first time you are uh, uh, logging into the uh, website. Okay, You must uh, register. Yes new user you must uh, sign up. You have to sign up. Once you sign up, yes, you just click the sign up. What are all the details? It is asking name, mail ID and uh, generate PIN. That PIN you get to your mail ID, registered mail ID. Okay, what are the mail you are going to type here? Na? For that, uh, to that mail, uh, mail you get a verified PIN. Then after that, you need to create one password. Okay, you need to create one password then confirm password. So after that, uh, you will get uh, this way for login. After that, you'll get uh, this way for this way for login. This is my mail ID. I already signed up. Okay, my mail ID and my password. Once you register, you get like this. Once you enter your first sign up, then after that, uh, uh, login by using your mail and password. Then uh, you get this way. MS PhD direct PhD. MS PhD and direct PhD. If you click on MS, click on MS, it is going to pop up a lot of things all these things i'll be explaining what it is and all okay click on ms then yes sir. click here to apply click here to apply yes once you click here to apply yes sir. personal details academic details work experience documents upload details apply to departments these are the four main things we need to finish okay so in this everything is very simple only few areas are there where uh, my assistance is required for you uh, th those things i'll be highlighting say as usual it is name date of birth gender father's name blood group marital status nationality category then uh, email disability country code mobile number and whatsapp number if your whatsapp number and mobile number is same no uh, same as that of the mobile number whatsapp number is then take it otherwise you need to give your separate whatsapp number then correspondence address city state country then the uh, permanent residence pin code aadhar number okay residential type are uh, preferred if joining see you want to be as a day scholar or as a hostel at iit madras they are asking you so if you want to be a day scholar put day scholar or if you want to be a hostel put a hostler right so that is the first step then here you come in the down you you will find like this save as drop draft save and next save and next will be our option right so uh, here national or international level qualifying uh, uh, exam details if applicable see this ms program ms program at iit madras for cfti centrally funded uh, technical institutes like iits and nits uh, uh, the, for these uh, for the institutions under triple it's uh, you need not to have any gate score and if you have a cgpa above 8.0 also you need not to have any gate score okay if you have a gate score that is also better no problem but uh, MS at IIT Madras is uh, for MS at IIT Madras gate score is not compulsory. Okay, for those who are from CFTIs, centrally funded technical institutions, uh, you may be asking, sir, whether my college or institution comes under CFTI or not. Yes, you type it Google. You Google it, you'll get the list of centrally funded technical institutions and whether it is there, your, is there or not there, you can check it. And if, or, or if you have CGP of uh, more than 8.0, then also you can apply directly for uh, uh, IIT Madras MS program, right? Then I just kept it as not applicable. If you see this uh, drop down, you have a lot of uh, options here. UGC need PG. Yes, uh, just let me go up. CAT, CSR, JRF, GATE, GMAT, GPAT, GRE, ICMR, JRF, IELTS, INSPIRE, JAM, JEST, JRF, MFT, NBHM, NEAT, NEAT, PG, TOEFL, UGC, JRF, CSR, UGC, NET, UGC, NET. Like that you have a lot of. And exam here, registration number and uh, enter the maximum score, enter your uh, exam score. So that way you need to fill. If you have PG, yes, you need to uh, uh, apply here you need to put here yes completed or ongoing yes you need to say whether it is complete or ongoing but i selected as no pg degree because most of the uh, ug students will be applying for uh, ms at iit madras by taking ug students uh, into consideration those who are having only bachelors by keeping them in mind yeah, I, i'm doing this ug details if you come here completed if you are completed complete you put it completed if it is ongoing put it as ongoing okay but i take it as completed as an example 
నా డిగ్రీ టైప్ బ్యాచిలర్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ స్పెషలైజేషన్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ అండ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ మీడియం ఆఫ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్ ఇస్ ఇంగ్లీష్ రైట్ దెన్ ఫ్రమ్ విచ్ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఐ టేకన్ వాట్ ఈస్ అ కాలేజ్ నేమ్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ విచ్ యూనివర్సిటీ దెన్ స్టేట్ సిటీ కంట్రీ దెన్ సిఎఫ్టీఐ so as i entered the college name here as that is not a cfti it recognized automatically that uh, it is uh, no it is not cfti suppose if i select here it as uh, in shoot as iit uh, or nit kurukshetra or nit varangal like that if i select uh, then automatically cfti yes it will be filled right iit it is not iit year of admission year of completion then uh, cgpa how much it is 9 out of uh, 10 out of how much 10 so for example i taken this all i am taking as an example save and next is the next thing right currently see if you have work experience yes you can put uh, yes i have work ex experience uh, so if you are uh, employed iit madras or iit madras park employee or iit madras project staff or iit madras permit staff or others whatever it is uh, if you are uh, uh, um, employed other than uh, at iit madras you can choose that also as others then you get one more field where you are working you can uh, enter your work uh, details right then save and next then save and next if you have any previous ex experience also work experience you are not currently working but previously you worked those work experience details also happily you can enter there right now come here upload photo yes i uploaded a photo yes and after that upload signature yes upload photo upload signature all these things are pretty easy things okay and here the documents come here see photo identity proof uh, yes aadhar card or driving license it is mentioned aadhar pan or driving license passport any of the things then ug certificates yes uh, ug certificate uh, certificates upload ug semester or year wise mark sheet consolidated mark statement and provisional degree or degree certificate so those uh, uh, that see he mentioned upload ug semester or year wise mark sheet okay you will get completely all semesters in uh, one page or consolidated mark sheet statement and provisional or degree certificate whatever you have that you can upload here then national or international level exams uh, exams so such as uh, uh, score card certificate if you take it as the, if you take their gate as an example then your gate score you need to put here work certificate if available if you are uh, having work experience you, can, you have to put additional certificates merge all documents and upload so here only one document can be entertained so all documents you merge in a single document right how to merge it sir uh, you take a pdf copies of uh, some four documents uh, online you can find pdf merger okay merge all pdfs get uh, generate only one pdf and uh, you upload it here right then save and next yes i'm going for save and next yes it is getting saved here the important things are research areas yes research areas and uh, uh, for which you, if you are from electrical engineering for uh, uh, what research areas you are eligible that is one thing and uh, scholarship uh, which scholarship i have to select sir so these are the important things yes now come here here this is very important residence see residence yes full time you want to do your uh, masters uh, um, ms for full time then financial support observe here here there are hdra dbt csr lot of things uh, mostly uh, we go for a hdra if you have uh, other the kind of things then you can go for it but uh, hdra only we go for what is hdra sir this is half time research assistantship means uh, you will be getting 12400 rupees per month as a stipend for working as a teaching assistant or assistant or research assistant at iit madras okay you need to teach to the students not exactly teaching teaching assistantship it is or if there is a project which is ongoing if you are working in that project part time half time research assistant assistantship it is assistantship it is so if you do that then you will be getting 12400 rupees i suggest all the students to fill this hdra only here is where the students will get structured right next research program and department see this research program and department a lot of departments you'll get sir uh, which research program which department i am eligible right so that is very important for us let us see let us see sir uh, which uh, research program which department i am eligible yes observe here observe here research areas these are all the research areas they given these are all the research areas they given yes uh, department of aerospace in aerospace you have uh, subsonic transonic lot of lot of uh, means uh, sir where i can find this data where i can find this data it's, it's not possible for me to read each and everything in this uh, but then sir where do i find this one you can find this one in the 
brochure of IIT Madras. Yes, IIT Madras released one brochure. In the brochure, you will be finding all this uh, data, right? So, uh, yes, uh, next is, uh, sir, uh, I am from this branch of engineering. Uh, am I eligible for, I am eligible for which branch or which research area I am eligible? Okay, so here you can find minimum education qualification for admission. Yes, sir. for regular research scholars, PhD in engineering. Yes, this is the education qualification. This is the education qualification, right? And uh, uh, yes, uh, what are all the things you require? Candidates having uh, qualified. See, as I told, minimum 8.0 uh, CGPA. Uh, minimum 8.0 CGPA out of 10 it is required. And uh, I, 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 I shown you already uh, uh, which research area comes under which branch. Yes. Suppose you are from biotechnology, you are from biotechnology, you can apply, yes, uh, just a minute, let me go through that page, yes, uh, let me go through that page, yeah, observe here, yeah, we are having here, just a minute, yeah, eligible, eligible degrees for PhD uh, and MS programs, okay, see, aerospace engineering, if you have aerospace engineering or see, if you want to apply in the department of aerospace engineering, what you must have, these are the things you must have. Master's degree or equivalent in aerospace or civil or applied mechanics. Now the question, uh, some civil student will ask, sir, am I eligible for aerospace? Yes. Being a civil guy, you are, you are eligible for aerospace, right? And a biotechnology. Master's degree in any area of engineering. Yes, master's degree in any area of engineering. And it's with master's in biotechnology, chemical, computer science and electrical engineering are particularly encouraged to apply, right? So everything is very clearly mentioned to which branch you can apply you are eligible to apply that is very clearly mentioned must go through the brochure otherwise see it is very difficult for me to read and each and everything you can find this brochure on the iit madras website right so once that is done once that is done yes uh, research program and department if you select no so what that is left sir after this uh, just uh, just fill those two things and uh, payment and submit save payment and submit just uh, if you fill those two research program and department that's all done so if if i select department no if i select department uh, yes uh, for example i am selecting uh, electrical and electronics or any random department i'll select okay biomedical device yes, i selected biomedical device application preference yes uh, i prefer full time ms or phd at iit madras i prefer only part time yeah mostly our guys will go for full time okay and uh, yes uh, statement of purpose here is where your peer plays a very important role see how to prepare statement of purpose we have decades of experience in guiding the students to uh, what to write a statement of purpose uh, so that your application is considered at iit madras see though many students are having good credentials they are not in a position to make their credentials into admission at iit madras for ms so this this is very very important for us right so once all that is done you go for save and uh, payment sub payment and uh, submit so this is all about the the ms application form filling at iit madras without gate for, for this one gate score is not required see the date of uh, last date the last the, the last date of uh, application is extended to 3rd of april 3rd of april so uh, i i can say that time is there but less time is there 3rd of April. So, statement of purpose and all these things you must prepare and all the documents you need to check. This is very simple process. Uh, okay. Statement of purpose is very, very important. Keep uh, uh, note that point in your mind. Right. If you have any queries, you can reach out to us at your here. Yeah? Okay. You will be finding contact number uh, or you will be finding uh, uh, someone, uh, uh, I can say mail also. The better is uh, contact us directly through the given phone number. Right. Thank you.